Hi everybody, Stevie here from Never Too Late to Travel. Having a nice weekend break here in uh, Utah Tani. And uh, one of the places that I've wanted to visit for quite a long time is Wat Chantaram, otherwise known as Wat Ta Sung. Now this temple has a history, I believe, going back to the Ayutthaya times. But uh, apparently the decor inside is uh, really something to behold. I've never been, but uh, I'm told that the Thais also call it by uh, other names such as the uh, Crystal Temple, Diamond Temple, Glass Temple uh, and that always uh, reflects back to what the decorations are uh, inside. So with that my friends I'll invite you to uh, join me and uh, we'll have a walk around and uh, I'll show you what's inside the temple and after we'll uh, have a walk uh, just up the road to the Golden Castle or Prasat Tong Kam uh, it's not a temple but uh, it has many artifacts inside and uh, I hope you'll find that interesting too. So let's get going my friends and I'll show you what's here. So now we're inside the main hall of the uh, temple. Uh, I think you'll agree with me, it's absolutely stunning inside. And uh, it's a huge place, it's not a small room by any standards, it is absolutely amazing. And uh, I can see why the Thais refer to it as the diamond uh, or crystal temple, because the effects of the mirrors and the silver is absolutely amazing, really, really is uh, first class. So we'll gradually uh, walk our way around the hall. Uh, to be honest, my friends, I don't think there is need for a lot of dialogue. Uh, you'll see exactly what I'm seeing and uh, you can draw your own conclusions and dialogue from that. Obviously, a lot of uh, donation uh, boxes there for the upkeep of the temple. And one can imagine uh, it takes a considerable amount of uh, money to uh, keep this uh, temple in pristine condition. very very fortunate today that we've actually come on a Monday and we haven't descended on this place on a, a Saturday or a Sunday uh, because the crowds would just be horrendous it's a very very uh, famous temple in Thailand and uh, many many people visit this uh, at weekends my wife there in the green there just uh, got uh, uh, offerings to uh, pay respect to Buddha and uh, earn merit and the resident monk there sat in the uh, little booth there at the back and uh, he will uh, greet all the uh, tourists who uh, want to speak with him and uh, say a few prayers absolutely amazing uh, decorations inside guys uh, even uh, myself uh, <clears throat> I was expecting it to be quite beautiful but uh, I didn't expect it to be as beautiful as this to be honest And this temple has uh, restricted uh, opening hours. Uh, I can't actually remember uh, the, act the actual hours, but uh, please have a look online before you descend on this place because it's uh, a short few hours opening in the morning and uh, a short few hours in the afternoon. So please check before you come. And wife there, just been to uh, speak with the uh, resident monk. Obviously the seating there is for when they have uh, various celebrations and uh, the monks will have their uh, special seats or visitors uh, within the temple. It 
It's not only the uh, wall decorations, uh, if you look at the ceilings, the uh, crystal uh, lighting sets are absolutely beautiful. And uh, many of them, they're not just uh, one or two, there's probably, I don't know, maybe in excess of uh, 80 or 90, I'm not entirely sure, but uh, many, many of them. If you uh, decide to come and uh, visit this temple, it uh, is advisable to come uh, during the week. Uh, as I previously said, the weekends tend to be extremely busy and the car park gets very full. And uh, you'll be just be jostling to take your pictures and uh, uh, earn your merit. So it's advisable to come midweek. It's uh, less uh, crowded and a lot easier for you to get around. And these flower decorations, I mean, there's something else to behold. I mean, there's a lot of work gone on the upkeep of these, to be honest. I understand a lot of people don't uh, like the uh, temple videos in uh, Thailand, but uh, as I've said before, some of the temples have the finest parklands around them and uh, some of the greatest uh, decorations that you'll find anywhere in Thailand. And uh, a lot of people will uh, miss the benefits of actually seeing them. So we'll try and have a walk down to the far uh, end of the room and uh, see what we can uh, discover down there. And you can see various gold buddhas there with a little gold plate at the side and uh, on top of that uh, they'll have uh, new uh, robes for the monk uh, so you can uh, make your donations and uh, you can present them uh, in front of the buddha and uh, gain merit and uh, give something back to the temple. Quite a few different uh, offerings there that you can uh, make donations for and uh, present uh, to the Buddha. And as we walk down the centre of the room here, and you see the Buddha at the end, uh, you get a perspective of just how beautiful this place is. It really is something to behold. Uh, if you're in the area, guys, don't hesitate to call in. Uh, it's free admission, and uh, I'm sure that you won't be disappointed. No need to have a lot of dialogue in this video, everything that you're seeing is uh, self-explanatory and uh, it uh, just portrays how beautiful this place really is. See my wife has uh, made her way up to uh, this end of the uh, temple room and uh, she's obviously gaining merit uh, by prayers at uh, this uh, Buddha figure. Absolutely amazing, absolutely beautiful.
we're actually going to go from uh, this temple here and uh, we're going to go a little bit uh, further into the grounds and uh, we're going to find the uh, Golden Castle or Prasat Tong Kam which I said previously is not a temple but it's uh, supposed to be a very beautiful building and uh, quite a few artifacts inside to have a look at. I believe that stretches over one or two floors, I'm not entirely sure but uh, let's go for a walk and uh, see if we can discover it. Well guys, as you can clearly see, we've now arrived at the Golden Castle or Prasat Tong Kam and uh, what an amazing building it looks from the outside so uh, I'm quite interested to go in and have a look around and uh, this is my first view of the uh, ground floor uh, not as uh, beautiful as uh, Wat Chantaram but uh, nevertheless very uh, highly decorated absolutely amazing uh, golden uh, figures in uh, this room as I said it's not uh, really a temple Wife's just given me a ticket and uh, that seems quite appropriate, it's number 13, so uh, probably not a, a very good lucky number for me today, let's hope nothing else happens. Very, very ornate carvings on the walls and the doors here. Uh, plenty of opportunity guys for videos and uh, pictures so this is the uh, ground floor and what we'll do we'll go up uh, the stairs here to the other areas and uh, I believe there's many many display uh, cases of different artifacts Many people here taking pictures on the uh, stairs. And some uh, absolutely splendid uh, displays of uh, small Buddha items and uh, other type artifacts, uh, of which sadly I don't know the names, but uh, obviously they have some significance for uh, this place. And again, a lot of uh, glass around and it uh, gives the appearance of being uh, actually larger than it maybe is. But uh, nevertheless, it's uh, well worth a visit, guys. There is another floor that we're uh, going to go up to uh, have a look at. And uh, hopefully from the top, uh, we'll see uh, some of the uh, uh, features of the building, some of the uh, spires. 
absolutely astounding. So this is uh, the stairs up to the uh, other level and uh, I think we'll find pretty much of the same as what we had on the uh, other floors but there is the uh, spires of the castle in all their glory and what a stunning backdrop to the room they are. So with that guys I'll let this uh, video play out and you can sit and listen to the music it doesn't need uh, any dialogue to explain what uh, the video is about and uh, thank you very much if you've uh, stuck and uh, watched it to the end and uh, hopefully guys I'll catch you on the next one take care of yourselves bye bye